in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create the binocular effect in premiere pro the first thing you want to do is to come over to this new item folder over here and select black video and hit ok and drag your black video onto your timeline and adjust the duration of your black video over here next move over to the effects library and search for the circle effect and apply this circle effect onto your black video next move over to effects control and increase the radius to 400 and change the blending mode to add next move down to feather over here and increase the value for feather to 25 now select this circle effect right click and hit copy and scroll down right click over here and hit paste to duplicate this now scroll up to the first circle effect over here and change the left value from 960 to 660 and scroll down to the bottom circle and change the value to 1260 Next, scroll up to the opacity of your black video and change your blend mode to multiply. Next, to give this a realistic effect, you could go over to the effects tab and search for the tint effect and apply this tint effect onto your black video over here and go over to effects control and scroll down under tint and change your map white to, to any color. You could make this green to give it a realistic military binocular look and you can also adjust the amount of tint to somewhere around 75. Lastly, to add some motion to the black video just to create some handheld looking effects, scroll up to position and move your player to the beginning of your black video and change the value for scale to 105 and toggle on the stopwatch next to scale and position and move a little bit ahead and select motion over here and you can begin to change the position to add some motion to the black video just to create some handheld looking effects. And you can copy these keyframes right click and copy and move further in time right click and paste and copy this entire keyframes once more right click and copy and move further in time right click and paste and that's it guys on how to create this binocular effect in premiere pro thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial tomorrow